Okay, so everyone knows that a diet filled with sweets can have a negative impact on our health, but did you know that even natural sugars can take a toll on your metabolism? Hey, I'm Austin, and I think it's good for us to know all the different types of sugar within the foods we eat and how our bodies use distinct processes to digest and metabolize each one, especially fructose. Fructose is a simple sugar that occurs naturally in fruit like apples, pears, grapes, and jackfruit. Of course, fructose in these forms can and should be enjoyed in moderation, but there's another form of this sugar that's hidden in some foods that might leave you scratching your head, like spaghetti sauce. Yeah, I'm talking about high fructose corn syrup. High fructose corn syrup is a popular additive because it's cheaper for food manufacturers to work with and it's designed to be even sweeter than sucrose. The sweetener is packed into so many of the nation's favorite processed foods, but just because it's common doesn't mean it should be consumed often. Research actually shows a correlation between increased fructose consumption and a rise in obesity, especially in the case of high fructose corn syrup. Although our liver is well equipped to handle the metabolism of fructose, our bodies aren't meant to digest such large quantities so frequently. In fact, processing too much fructose over time can lead to a slew of negative consequences. Actually, here are five that you should probably be aware of. Number one, excessive fructose can cause insulin resistance in the liver. While fructose doesn't directly cause insulin secretion, many interactions caused by fructose metabolism can encourage insulin resistance, including strongly promoting the buildup of fat in the liver. Number two, uric acid buildup. Fructose metabolism has been found to increase levels of uric acid in the body, and studies show that too much uric acid in blood may be one of the chief causes of liver-based insulin resistance. Number three, leptin resistance. Leptin is a hormone that sends signals to the brain that the body is full. If your body doesn't recognize when you're full, it's difficult to know when you should stop eating. Number four, inflammation. Researchers have found that fructose can encourage cellular metabolic pathways to increase inflammation, which can damage cells and tissue and may affect the immune system's ability to fight off infections. And number five, microbiome changes. Excess fructose may change the gut microbiome in harmful ways. It's been found that diets loaded with high fructose corn syrup decrease levels of healthy bacteria that our bodies need for gut health. Okay, I don't know about you, but hearing about those five effects gives me a little more motivation to keep an eye out for unnecessary added sugars and to try to avoid them in every part of my diet. If you're craving something sweet, stick to whole fruit, which is unrefined and has fiber to help slow down fructose absorption. Also, try your best to put a halt to consumption of fructose in the form of drinks. Chugging a fruit juice or sports drink may feel refreshing in the moment, but they're simply not worth the damage they do to our bodies over time when consumed in large quantities. Added sugars can be elusive, and if we're not diligent about seeking them out, they can, and will, negatively impact our health. Be sure to cut back on excessive fructose as much as possible as you strive for optimal metabolic health. Thanks for watching.